Uh, we're Better Weather, and we're here to address the live Earth challenge. The main mission behind our app is to leverage climate data in order to illustrate the impact of our changing Earth, and also our changing selves as we experience seasons in both a physical sense as well as an emotional sense. Um, weather does matter to us, and changes in climate do matter to us, and we're going to create a Better Weather app. This is how weather apps currently look like. It's very statistical, it's numbers based, but uh, there's really no one-to-one -one behind how weather is actually depicted and how we actually experience it in our day-to-day -day lives. During a rainy day, this is my Instagram feed. Um, this is maybe how you feel when it's rainy. This is how I felt when it was fall. Um, and this is how I felt when it was uh, rather pleasant, but cold and, and rainy as well, right? So we wanted to create an app that would be able to show this to you. Um, let's go back here to just that. So um, using sign in with Instagram, you're able to see that right now it's between 66 and 50. These are all things you already know. It's dry, it's cloudy, and based on similar days in the past, it might be a rather pleasant day for you as well. And <clears throat> Jeff is one of our developers who ended up sort of um, determining how we're able to determine what a pleasant day is. Great. So yeah, uh, one of the first, uh, I built the back end services, and two of the things that I actually did responsible for was one, the Instagram uh, authentication and getting the pictures from there. We like Instagram because it's a great way of people sharing pictures and how does that make you feel and how do people take pictures during different weather times. And then second is actually uh, using the Microsoft Cognitive API to say, well, great, we get these pictures from Instagram. Well, uh, how does that make you feel? And we found that it was actually uh, remarkably easy and also pretty uh, accurate. We sent pictures of the Mona Lisa, we sent pictures of animals, and it, pretty, it was pretty good about telling us were they, were they happy, were they sad, were they uh, tempered, and they gave, it, they gave a range across all seven dimensions. So uh, we're able to determine based off of a pleasant, like whether or not this may be or may not be a pleasant day based on past data. Um, and we're also able to gather days like this. Yeah, um, so my responsibility was finding all the weather information and servicing it up. So I got um, uh, 22 years of data for a uh, city that was specified, and then um, Steve will be talking about how he collected to find some of the weather. Um, in addition, uh, from the Instagram feed, uh, we also want to focus on client pic pictures. So I use uh, Watson and Bluemix API to um, classify you know, what items are recognized in the picture and the, how those recognized items relate to climate. So if there's a mountain, related to climate. If there's a stove, probably not. Um, so yeah, you can look at past days and see how it, it relates to the current day at hand. Um, uh, we also found it very important to look at a day in the past, like this one, and think about what did you do, what did you do during this day, what did you witness, and sort of connect with your Instagram and, and your, your media in order to look at that. Um, weather is also thought of as changes over time, so you want to look at what's the temperature today over the past 20 years. We've gathered 20 years to two years worth of data from Wonderground in order to determine how does weather change over time. Um, so that's like the, the basic value prop, and this is our, our team of people uh, doing all this stuff. Um, but how did we actually do this all? Yeah. Um, so my responsibility was the integration, um, so that we had integrating data from uh, Weather Underground, Instagram, local um, location data from your phone, and then uh, serving that up to Cognitive and IBM Bluemix, and then integrating that into something that um, you can like understand on the front end and doesn't look too busy. Um, so a lot of this, so this is the output of one of the algos that determines uh, closeness of weather days, which was um, kind of the main like algorithmic thing driving it, uh, which is not that interesting to see on the front end, so it's not, that's why we're sort of showing it in JSON here. Um, but basically the idea is like, so this I put in yesterday, so you know, 26, uh, April 23rd, 2016, and you see that like uh, almost identical day yesterday, to yesterday was um, in like October 15th, 2012 had the exact same high, the exact same low, almost the exact same precipitation, uh, almost the same cloudiness. And then like, you can just go back and look, and like, it's, it's surprisingly uh, not obvious. Like, there, you'll see um, you know, June 6th is similar to like, you know, December 10th. And the idea is, by looking back um, over a long period of time, um, you can see how, how different days change over time and how weather is distributed differently throughout the year. Um, so connecting climate change and um, our changing planet to the daily lives of people. Thank you. Okay. Um, you have any questions? Yeah. So I'm saying that you used um, some visual recognition APIs to go past a bunch of photos on Instagram and go figure out when you in that photo was happy mm -hmm. with a similar kind of weather. 
Yes. And yep. also out, outdoor photos only. We use image yeah. recognition for that. So it was just, just to summarize, it was um, figure out days that are similar to today, look up pictures from that day on your Instagram feed, figure out which of those pictures are from outside, and figure out the emotional valence of those photos. And then based on that, figure out what today is going to be like. Any more questions? Um, I'm just wondering, how do you plan to handle the idea of, you know, people may not post their Instagram on the exact same day, or maybe they're posting a vacation photo from a completely different location, you know, a week later. So actually, uh, Instagram provides a whole bunch of metrics as to um, when you posted it, where you posted it, the geo coordinates, so we can actually look up, hey, give us something from these days, because that's when the weather is similar, but also that matches the location that you're searching in. So you're right, you know, if you're in, if you're based out of Alaska, you kind of don't want to look at your trips to LA. So that would be a little uh, weird. We also built, what was it? I keep messing it up, the function. Yeah. Uh, like some classification function for clustering similar days as well. Oh, yeah, so, so Steve both did his company to figure out yeah. how yeah. similar things are. Mm. Well, yeah, we've got one more, uh, one more question, and then we're going to cut off questions for this team. I imagine that you guys had a lot of data relating to the weather API. Did you find that some like variables were more like correlated than others? And I, I mean, imagine you would Correl correlated with what? Sorry. Uh, like that. I mean, you have like the cognitive analysis of the images, and I imagine that you have a whole bunch of weather parameters. Like, did you define that some of them were particularly more important? So that that crowdsourcing of data is really the direction that we do want to go with this. But as of now, uh, only two of us have Instagrams, so and we don't post very much. So the data set was pretty limited. Yeah. But I will tell you that when it is warmer and sunnier, people are happier. <laughs> <laughs> we also talked a lot about, uh, particularly this part here, where we're looking at days that felt like this. The more people that use this app, we're able to um, gather their sentiment analysis, right? So we can actually crowdsource information and gain wisdom from the crowds of, of a day like this is what it looks like. This is what a day in Central Park looked like to this person. This is what. Um, people are biking during this day, or they're, they're celebrating on this day, or a lot of people just like you are reading a book inside because it's raining out. So. Awesome. Thank you guys very much. That was uh, better luck.